Well, a number of states have started the process of slowly trying to reopen. We've been talking about that a little bit uh, this evening. And tonight, we were getting the first look at businesses to businesses. Who's spending what and where? Those numbers to see how the states are doing and whether there are green shoots in those states that have started to reopen. Corterra has a view into $1.5 trillion in annual B2B spending across the United States. And the founder and CEO of that company is Jim Swift, and he joins us live tonight. Jim, welcome. Uh, you have a very interesting perch from which to look at uh, the reopening of the economy. Let's set the backdrop here, though, and that is, what did B2B spending tell you about the economy in April? Well, it was a, re a really rough month for, uh, for businesses, as we all know. We basically shut down the economy. And if you look at the year-over-year -year numbers, the spending by businesses in April was down 7% versus April of last year. And it was down 8% from March to April this year. And it was really across the board. 42 of the 50 states were down. 75% of the industries had a reduction in spending. And uh, in many industries were hit pretty hard. And business-to-business -business spending is important to look at because why? Because it is predictive of what consumers will ultimately do? It absolutely is. And uh, we've been able to, uh, in March, we saw our data was tightly correlated to the retail sales report, uh, which showed that uh, the sales by different types of retailers was down in most categories and up in a few. And when we look at the spending by those businesses uh, with other businesses, they matched pretty closely. So if, when a business doesn't have customers coming in, they spend a lot less with their suppliers. And we see that ripple through our systems. Let's get to what people really want to know about tonight, and that is, what are your earliest numbers telling you about the, the states in which the restrictions are being lifted gradually? What's happening with business-to-business -business spending there, and is it encouraging? So what we saw through April is that uh, I mentioned most industries were down. There were a few that were up. Uh, food and beverage stores were up. Online retail was up as we all uh, shopped online. And we saw some interesting things with uh, increased spending, uh, such as information technology uh, spend uh, was up more than 200% over last year. And some of the things that we're starting to see, though, in the reopening is that in April, service industry supplies were up 22% over last year. So a lot of that is restaurants uh, preparing to reopen. And then there are little blips that we see in, uh, in a few states such as Georgia, where restaurants spent 20% more in April of, than they did in April of 2019. And New Jersey was up 35%. So we're seeing these, these early signs that businesses are getting ready for, for the, the opening. I get the idea that Georgia would be getting ready for reopening. They already have. But a, an uptick in business-to-business restaurant-related spending in New Jersey? That's crazy. Yeah. That's not coming anytime soon. Yeah, I don't know where that's coming from, but uh, but we saw that spend. We also saw other spend, uh, states you would expect, uh, like Mississippi had a slight uptick, uh, but something's going on in New Jersey. What have been the hardest hit states, if you know? Obviously, hospitality, hotels, uh, aircraft, airlines would be hard hit by industry, but what do you know state by state where the spending has uh, been telltale? We saw the biggest decline in Michigan. We saw a 34% decrease in the spending by businesses in Michigan. And that's uh, that's a product of the automotive industry, uh, the heavy manufacturing, uh, obviously restaurants not being open. Uh, we saw other states like Wyoming, Oklahoma, Nevada with all the gaming. Uh, we saw severe declines there. Uh, it was pretty much across the board. Uh, there were only eight states that had uh, an increase and most of those were food producing states where we saw an increase in activity as we all tried to figure out uh, what, what to do with the supply chain and the food. Jim Swift, thank you very much for your insights tonight. We appreciate it. We hope to have you back soon uh, to tell us what you're seeing from your very unusual perch on the economy.